<laughs> for the third time. Uh, we're trying. We're you know, trying. If it doesn't work this time, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys the information, and uh, you can listen to it, those of you who are interested, and we'll see. So yeah. let's just start over. How okay. was your workout? My workout was good. Yeah. So far, we look good. Well, that's a start. All right. So um, let's see. So we're talking about the energy level that I had today. I did shoulders and triceps and abs. A tremendous workout, great energy. Um, the only thing I can attribute to it is the whole food plant-based dieting and the fact and the fact that probably over the last month and a half we've gotten more staunch is the right word? Rigorous. Rigorous about how we're gonna how but we it, eat. that's not fair because it doesn't feel rigorous. It feels Yes, that's why I didn't want to use rigorous. It's like it become it's like, well, you know, it just it's better for me and it, I don't want to eat that stuff. That doesn't say that's what happens. You realize you're starting to feel so much better that you all of a sudden say, you know what, it's not worth it to have that burger or to have those nachos. Or, I mean, and uh, not to mention lately when I have that, what's been happening? Makes you sick. Yeah, my stomach's been like, oh, no, 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 no. Right, exactly. You know? so, and yesterday when I went to my mastermind group, that meeting, it happens at a restaurant, and I get their vegetarian dish, which yesterday was um, a cooked spinach on a portobello mushroom and whatever. Right. It was really good, and it wasn't loaded with cheese, which nice. at a restaurant, usually when you get a vegetarian dish, it's loaded with cheese. But um, So that was good, but it did have oil in it, so I, you know, I had to have, have to deal with that. Right. But, right. you know, whatever. I, we do the best we can, but we're definitely get much better about, I think, this diet than we were in the past. We were about yeah. 80%, and then we were 90%. And, and yeah, and again, the rigorous is the wrong word because it's just so simple to stay on it. Yeah, once you get used you to have, it. I mean, what did I have for dinner the other night? I had a, a big, I had like a big, big baked potato, corn, and broccoli. And I'm yeah. like, great dinner. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, That's good. It was crazy. But, um, oh, and I talked about how I've been working on my class which is super exciting, having a lot of fun with that. Mm -hmm. They started talking about the psychology of change and how hard it is for us to change our diets and answering the question, if I know what I want to do and I know how to do it, why don't I do it? Right. And so that for me obviously is a lot of fun. So we're, uh, I'm almost done. I'll probably be done with it in the next two or three right. days. Yeah. And and I'm a little sad. I was going to say something about how sad you are because you're academic uh... – Liaison. <laughs> Ackerman. Ackerman was is uh, running to uh, coming to an end. Yeah, so. I do. I do love. I do love it. But um, I'll have to take it again. I guess they yeah. let you download all of it, so at least that's something. That's right. cool. Right. But I wanted to talk to you today about um, heart disease because it is the number one killer in the U.S. It has actually surpassed smoking mm -hmm. as the number one killer of men and women in the United States. And I wanted to give you some data. I did write a paper for this, for the, this section of this class. I had to write a, uh, the assignment was to write a letter to someone whose mother was just diagnosed with heart disease right. and that that person is concerned that they're going to get it because heart disease runs in families. It doesn't run in families. It runs in diets. And, and refresh my memory again. What did you get on that paper? Like 100. <laughs> so um, it's, it's a short paper, a short letter. It's maybe one page. So I will go ahead and I will I'll post that in its entirety on the r, &R Journey page. It has some of the science. It's not um, academically referenced, but if you want the references, I do have them. I can I can share them with you. But um, I will post that in its entirety so that you guys can read it if you're interested. But I wanted to talk a little bit about some of that information I have out my notebook that I've been black book. Yeah, that I've been right, taking notes in for class. So 610,000 people die from heart disease in the United States every year. That's one in four deaths. And the thing that's really sad about it is heart disease doesn't have to kill anyone. Right. It, it is completely curable. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's so bad. Um, but the challenge is, why is it? Why why are we still eating meat products when we know and the science knows that it kills us? So right. we're gonna we're gonna work on we're gonna talk about that a little bit. 49% um, of people in the U.S. have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or they smoke, all of which are key risk factors for heart disease. And our diets are so bad that all 10-year-olds, by the time you're 10 years old, you start to see some of the evidence of heart disease already right, right. at 10. Right. And well, you're talking about heart disease. I don't want to talk about prediabetes. Don't that's talk about prediabetes. That's prediabetes. a different subject. That's, a, that's, but, that's next. But what's, what's, what's not surprising yet sad about us as human beings in the Western society is that we are detrimental to our own health. Right. We will pick up habits that will shorten our lifespan. They'll kill us, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just amazing. 
So they looked at, they looked at um, places where they don't have heart disease, people, places like the mountains of Papua New Guinea and the um, seaside islanders of Papua New Guinea and the rural, some rural parts of China, Okinawans. And what they realized is that they have zero heart disease, so it's not something that humans have to get. Right. And 90% of their calorie intake is high-level uh, whole plant starch. Sweet potatoes are like a huge thing that they eat. Rice, obviously, veggies, and no oils and no sugars, no right. animal products. Right. Yeah. So there's tons of science. I won't read all of it to you because it just gets insane, and all, you guys will be bored and your eyes will glaze over. But here's the reality. We can cure heart disease just by eating plants. Right. And you can cure diabetes, you can avoid cancer. Like, there's so much, so many reasons why plants are good for you. And so if you're ready to make that change, if you're ready to say, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to do this, but you don't know how to start, we can help you get started with yep. that. And one of the things that's, that's a great place to start is add a grain to your meals, yes. whether it's yeah. you know oatmeal for breakfast or quinoa or rice right. or, there, I mean, there's gazillions of grains out there right. that right. you can add. Right. And it's the thing we always say, there, there, we're not, we're not um, suggesting that anyone go from one extreme to the next. Right. And, and eating animal plants in a Western diet is an extreme. Don't kid yourself, it is definitely an extreme. Mm -hmm. um, but if you could just take that one step, you know, one, like we always say, start with one meal, then start with one day, then start with a couple of days, and, you know, go a couple of mm -hmm. weeks, and, and just gradually we, uh, wean out. Move into, yeah, yeah The absolutely. bad food that you're, that you're eating in a Western diet, and, and replace it with the good stuff. Right, the exactly. The gold, as it was. So, and the real, the real challenge with heart disease is that for a lot of people, 57% of men who experience sudden cardiac death have no history of heart disease. Yeah. So the first symptom they have is they die from it. Right. And at that point, it's, it's a little too, too late. It's too late. You can't change your diet. Yes. Um, but the, the thing is, and we've said this to you guys before, our goal is not to force you to change. No. If you want to eat the Western diet, do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're ready to take control of your health, if you recognize that one of the things you get to control 100% is the food you put in your mouth and you want to be healthier, then you know what? Eat some plants. Eat some plants. Eat starch. Eat starch, at the bottom of the food chain. Starch should be about 80% of your food intake. Right. And people, I had somebody say to me this weekend, you eat carbs? Again, this I weekend. Know, that's you crazy. eat carbs? Yeah, a yeah. lot of them. And the idea that carbs make you fat or that carbs cause diabetes or that carbs cause anything is fiction. It's yeah. fiction. So eat, eat plants. They're good for you. Right, right. Um, let's see if I have any other interesting... Um, so Dr. Esselstyn is adamant that you shouldn't eat any oils, and we've definitely removed the amount of we oils have removed, yes. that we eat. When yes. we eat out, it's harder to avoid oil. Right. But I mean, even if you go to a vegan restaurant, they're going to give you oil because that's how they cook. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? I know why people are confused about this, because if you type into Amazon, if you type healthy diet, you get back 100,000 responses. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, you, no wonder people don't know what to eat. So things that are really, really, really good for you. Bok choy, Swiss chard, kale, collards, collard greens, beet greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, Napa cabbage, which I've never heard of. I need yeah. to look that one up. Probably Bru in Napa. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cilantro, parsley, spinach, arugula, and asparagus. And Dr. Esselstein wants people to eat a cooked um, amount of greens the size of their fist six times a day mm. but that's for people to reverse very right, serious right. So about he, to drop dead right heart disease right. and, and as we mentioned i don't know if we mentioned it, but we you and i talked about it he worked with extreme cases mm -hmm. he works with the people that, whose whose previous doctors and he is an md whose previous doctors told him prepare yourself get rid of you get your will in, in place because you're not going to live more than six months right and he's managed to in a lot of cases 20 Ex years. Extend those people beyond 20 years even. Mm -hmm. I mean, 20 years is the mark because that's how long it's been since he's been working with them. But the point is they're still alive. Right. Um, so, yeah. It, so, it's... yeah, they, there's tons of intervention studies. And it's, it's shocking and sad to me that this science has been around for decades and that doctors don't, they don't know it, first of all. Right. So they're not taught this. But secondly, they don't believe people will make this change, so they just don't tell them. Right. And that, to me, is really sad, that we have the opportunity to, um, to cure ourselves of heart disease 
and we aren't being told right. about it. I think that should be our goal. That's only a little one. Let's eradicate heart disease. That's our goal. We're going to eradicate, eradicate heart disease. Eradicate heart disease and type two diabetes in, in America. Is that a small? That's a small goal. That's a small goal. I did have somebody ask me this weekend if I would help him cure his diabetes. So yeah. I'm really excited to get started with that. Yeah, help him absolutely. get on the whole absolutely. food, plant based train. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's what I want to share with you. That heart disease, and as Dr. Esselstein says, it's a completely toothless paper tiger. There is no <laughs> reason that anyone should ever die of heart disease. Right. We we know the cure. Yes, we do. Don't so eat please, animal products. Don't eat oil. Yes. So if you know someone who you know has had a heart attack or has been diagnosed with heart disease, let them know that mm -hmm. they have. And I, I know someone here that he lives behind us had a really serious heart attack this yeah. past summer. Yeah. And I saw recently on Facebook he posted a picture. He was out at a steak restaurant having <sighs> and eating a huge plate of steak, and I just <sighs> it makes me so sad because it's it, it's going to kill him. Like that's, that's Fortunately, reality. I didn't see that post. No. Mm. So 45% of Medicare is cardiac. That'll cure our, uh, our issues with... Uh, and what's the other uh, 60%? Type 2 diabetes? Right. <laughs> yeah. So we, we can cure our, our issues with health care and insurance just right. by curing and, heart disease and diabetes. Right, right. And uh, don't worry about the pharmaceutical companies. They'll find some other thing to uh, sell create people. or sell yeah. people. Nobody's going to go out of business. Jobs aren't going to be lost. And money's going to be saved, and the economy's going to do better because everybody's going to have more money to spend on the things that the economy wants you to spend money on. Right. So we so. have to stop, you know, doing the pills, potions, lotions, and lore. Right. And as I say to you all the time, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Eat plants. Right. And as Robin always said, <laughs> well, well, was talking about the other day for people that have been uh, watching us, is that the Western diet is all about instant pleasure, and not long-term happiness. Right. Right. Exactly. And I was watching. To games and congratulations to your Philadelphia Eagle fans out there. Uh, that was a great game. Um, but I was watching the commercials during these games yesterday, and, and I don't know. I know um, Taco Bell did it, and I think a few other of the fast food restaurants did it. And they actually talk about pleasure in their commercial. Get the pleasure. It's the not pleasure. pleasure. And, and they have psychologists well, working on this stuff too. And they it understand. is pleasure. If technically it is pleasure, it's not happiness. Right. If they use the word happiness, that's a lie. Right. It's instant gratification. And they know, they know that, that that's a weakness for people and they're going to push it. Yeah. You know? So I, I do want to talk about um, later this week, I want to talk about plant based diet and diabetes. And then I want to talk about um, the science of. Why, if we know what we want to do and we have a goal to be healthier and we have an idea how to be healthier, why we don't do it right. and the pleasure trap that we get into and then we feel guilty because we're not eating the way we feel like we should. Right. So I'm going to talk about that some. And I'm working on our talk that we're giving on Thursday. Yeah, so exciting. If, if you guys are local and you would like to come hear us speak about r and our journey and our path to being healthier, um, Reach out to me. I will post it again on my Facebook page. We're speaking at a Diamond Finance Financials networking event on Thursday night. Right. So if you get value out of these, please like and share, like our, our page, and you know, make sure that other people can can get involved and, and be part of their right. healthy journey too. Because that, if we're going to eradicate heart disease, people need to know say, about it. And spread the word. Help us do it. Help us eradicate the two major. Uh, one of the two major causes. Diabetes of is number death. seven. Yeah. Uh, so yep. top ten definitely of killers in this country. Yep, absolutely. In the Western diet. It's all, all good. Right. Are we done? I think we're done. And we're done. So with that, we will say eat real food, mostly plants, 80% starch. <laughs> now what am I supposed to say? Oh, wait. I said it backwards. <laughs> One more time. We will say eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants, 80% starch. He's making my life difficult, guys. Have a great day, I'll see guys. you tomorrow.